Hi everyone, welcome to today's session of Ram Mounts product training. In today's session, we're gonna be looking at all new products that were launched and made available in the previous year, 2022. We will not be showing products that were launched but are only of a coming soon status. We are only covering products that were launched and made available in the past year. There's gonna be a lot of information covered here, so be sure to contact your account manager for any questions that you might have. So starting with the top overview, we have a total of 194 products that were launched and made available in the past year. Uh, we'll be covering consumer solutions, bundles that were made, specific product lines that were launched, and some massive batch replacement products that uh, replace old products that were removed from our listings, and also covering solutions for various brands, specific brand solutions, so Apple, Garmin, Honeywell, Panasonic, and Zebra. Starting off with popular bundles, these were kits that were made based on user demand and what customers were building on their own on our website. So they were kitting together various holders and vehicle mounts or other types of mount solutions and also based on activity through the mount builder. So these typically range from various vehicle mounts. These are the no drill vehicle mounts that will adapt to the passenger seat floors of a given vehicle with the telepole solution. And then you also have a fish finder mount. That's the one that's at the bottom of the list there, a trackball solution for the Garmin Striker series. But various uh, tablet solutions for vehicles essentially is what we had launched. Looking at some new outdoor and off-road solutions, we did make a new SKU of the WeBoost ball adapter that came with the proper coupling nut and a couple of lock washers to make those kits a little more efficient. We also made a kit for the Psyonix camera solution. You can see the in-use photo there. It's basically a C-size version of the Ram Tough Claw at the bottom that clamps to any rail surface. And then you have the Ram Tough Ball at the top. That's a steel reinforced post with a quarter 20 thread. So the C-size component is a robust system for supporting the Psyonix camera. And then also we have the Ram Tough Wedge system. This was a kit that was built out consisting of the Tough Wedge that sits between the passenger seat and center console of a vehicle, and this kit comes with the proper RAM finger grip holder to support radios or other handheld devices. In the past year, we launched a few new low profile mounts for phones. The one on the far left is the most popular currently. This is the RAM Quick Grip XL low profile mount with the RAM Tough Claw at the bottom. Previously, we had low profile solutions of the X Grips. You can see the two X Grip solutions here. These new X Grip kits simply come with the medium sized Tough Claw. The current kits before were the small Tough Claw series. You can see in the part numbers anything containing the 400, so in that first part number, PD4 400, that indicates it is the small Tough Claw. And then you can see the other two are 404, those are the medium size, larger Tough Claw. So in this last year, we launched two medium-sized Tough Claw low-profile X-Grip mounts, and we launched one small Tough Claw of the Quick Grip phone holder that's proven to be very popular for various handlebar solutions for motorcycles and dirt bikes. Getting into some new product lines that were launched in the last year, this is the Ram Universal Handstand. So many folks may be familiar with the GDS Handstand that's essentially this system. Uh, the original GDS handstand was a two-in-one hand strap and kickstand accessory that you can connect to any IntelliSkin system for tablets. So by having that accessory, it's a great ergonomic way of enhancing the IntelliSkin for a device. But this new product line, the RAM Universal Handstand, is the same concept, but instead of adapting to an IntelliSkin, it comes with a universal tether, uh, multiple size tethers for different sizes of tablets. So you can see here, anything that's HS1 will support seven to eight inch tablets, so like an iPad mini. And then nine to 13 inch tablets is the HS2 system. So that larger tether will support those larger tablets. Uh, the 13 inch is really just accommodating the 12.9 iPad Pro uh, solutions out there. This will support tablets with or without a case, as you can see, and you can conform the tether around the camera. So all buttons, ports, all functionality, is readily accessible while the universal handstand is connected. There are two versions for each side. One is the standard hand strap, and then there's also the magnetic strap. So you can clip the solution against a ferromagnetic surface like a fridge or any other steel type surface. Those are denoted in the part numbers with HS1MU, M is for magnetic, and then HS2MU. Another new ergonomic accessory that was launched and made available is the GDS Rotomeg. So this one is designed for IntelliSkins, but it's another alternative to the handstand solution. So with this Rotomeg, it functions as a three-in-one accessory. You have a grip handle 
so it's easy to move around the warehouse or other facilities uh, by grabbing onto the grip handle. You can rotate between portrait and landscape mode. It also does have a built-in hand strap. You can see in the second rendering at the top, the hand strap is flexed open, so you can use your hand to connect on there. And with the built-in magnets, you can see in this exploded view, this contains two rare earth magnets that will lock the device up against a ferromagnetic surface. This is a much stronger magnetic solution than the original magnetic handstand. So if, if anyone is looking for a magnetic solution, the Rotomag is certainly a better accessory for IntelliSkin. For the RAM Tab Tight and Tab Lock series, we launched two new sizes of cups that will accommodate the modular system. The Tab Tight and Tab Lock is essentially a system of universal tablet holders made up of different cups that will adapt to both locking or non-locking options, both spring-loaded to accommodate a wide range of tablets with or without a case. So these two new sizes, you have the Tab 33 cups that will accommodate 10.1 to 10.5 inch tablets. This will include a range of relatively narrow, newer Samsung tablets that are out there and some other brands. And then the Tab 34 is a set of cups designed specifically for the Panasonic FZG2 and FZA3. For both of these, you can see the full range of dimensions that these cups will support. For the RAM pin lock and trackball, there was a new aluminum version of this trackball that was made. This is what we're calling the 463 series. We're essentially offering B size and C size with this new ball adapter. You can see the pin lock patterns at the bottom of the casting with a quarter 20 inch female threaded insert. So there are two versions for both B size and C size where there is the track T bolt and rubber friction washer. So you have one with and without the T nut and friction washer, both in B size and C size. For forklift mounting, we now have a new universal version of the vertical clamp post that we offer. So if you were to search our website right now for 247, you'll see a lot of our original clamp bases that come in different sizes. So for different widths of clamp posts, I believe up to five inches wide, this new universal option comes with slotted holes. So this is a one size fits most universal clamp where you can adapt onto the slotted holes and you can conform the base to fit essentially any size post. These have been launched and made available in all three B size, C size, and D size ball base options. For apparel, we had launched a new line of hats that are currently available on the website. We have three sizes up at the moment. There's the Mount Rainier snapback hat in navy, Mount Rainier seven panel trucker hat that's in black, and the Mount Rainier seven panel trucker hat black with leather patch. Some various components that were created based on user demand that we were seeing. So for one, there is the Ram Level Cup XL replacement fins. So if anyone misplaces or needs replacement rubber fins for the Level Cup series, that is now an available SKU on RamMount.com. And also the OtterBox Universe Easy Roller Adapter is now available as a standalone holder with ball. We had launched and made available a total of five new hardwire chargers. Up top here, looking at these top two chargers, you have the V14 and V15 chargers. These are hardware chargers with a DC barrel connector that will adapt to various docking stations that have the DC barrel jack. These ones specifically have a 16 volt output. These are designed and intended for the new upcoming power docking stations for the Panasonic FZ-A3. These are power docks that are not yet available, but these are the chargers that we will be pairing for those docks when those do become available. And then in the bottom left, you have the V8 charger. So this is a charger with a 30 to 60 volt input that's suitable for electric forklifts or any high voltage input uh, vehicles. And then this comes with the proper DC adapter for various handheld PCs. So you can charge a handheld PC to a forklift using this charger. And then finally, these bottom two here are simply hardware chargers that offer power delivery with peripheral support. So the bottom center, you have dual USB peripherals, so you can connect a keyboard, mouse, thumb drive, any USB peripherals you can connect to your device using this adapter. So you have this in a dual USB and a single USB is the V3FCA-1. These come with the proper cable, so you can pair them with the proper power delivery docking stations, including the GDS Tough Dock. Getting into some new replacement SKUs that were launched and made available in the past year, this is the new backing plate that we have offered for a while now, but it was a smaller version of our backing plate that's used for mounting to dashboards or other flat surfaces to reinforce the flat surface, mainly used for dashboards though. 
So with the smaller footprint and the smaller plate, this has replaced the original older plate that was larger and contained a larger hole pattern that was not being used. And so with the more efficient and smaller backing plate, we essentially made new SKUs of ball bases and kits to easily pair any tablet or other device holder with the proper dashboard mounting option. We offer these in both B size and C size, depending on the size of the device that's being used. You can see we have them in just the ball base and also with complete double ball mount kits. And as you can see here with tablet and other universal device holders, these were kits that were originally on our site that came with the larger backing plate, but now we have these new kits with the smaller backing plate. Essentially, any part number that you'll see with the 101B2, the B2, specifically number two, is the indicator of the newer, smaller backing plate. And then likewise, with all the GDS bundles with dashboard mounts with the backing plate, we replaced all of those with the smaller backing plate. So again, same part numbers, just with the 101B2, indicating the newer, smaller backing plate. Another major SKU replacement that was made officially at the end of 2022 was the removal of all micro USB docking connectors on GDS vehicle docks. So essentially, as new devices are evolving, USB type C and power delivery are becoming more of the standard. And so we were finding more and more that the micro USB docking connectors were not supplying sufficient power, or if people were needing to upgrade, the micro USB version was only causing more confusion, especially if it was a lower price point, it was tempting customers to purchase a docking connector that was not supplying sufficient power to the device. So we're moving forward with the standardizing of USB type C on all GDS vehicle docks. You can see the conversion chart here. The list on the left is the old MUSB dock list. And then on the right, you have the new USB type C version of these docks. Now, one factor to consider here, and this may have caused confusion in the, in the past, and we've been streamlining on this better, is the logic behind when a cable is included with a vehicle dock and what type of cable to include. So historically, docks that had a micro USB connector at the bottom would come with a proper micro USB to type A cable, and this would allow you to connect to the standard V7 hardwired charger. And then docks with the USB Type-C connector did not have a cable included, and the recommended charger would be the hardware charger with power delivery shown below that would come with the proper male-to-male -male cable adapter. So essentially the Type-C docks would not come with the cable because the charger that you would pair it with would come with the necessary cable, whereas with the micro USB docks, cable is included with dock, and then the charger does not come with cable. But currently, the new rule that has been set is docks that do not require power delivery, or PD, uh, that do not require a power delivery charger, a Type-C to Type-A cable is now included. This is very important because some devices uh, may have a USB Type-C port, but they do not support power delivery, or for legacy devices that we've made in IntelliSkin Next Gen 4, they may not be compatible with power delivery chargers, and so in order to adapt properly to the compatible charger, you have to go from the type C down to a type A charger that you can see here. And so these docks will now supply the proper cable for that. The main takeaway here is that the cable logic and when we include the cable, it depends more on the device itself and the charging requirements of the device and not necessarily consistency with other similar docks. So here we have type C to type A cable included with devices that do not require power delivery, and then it goes to the same charger at the bottom, the V7B1U. And then for docks that require power delivery, again, no cable included, but will still work with the same charger, the V3FC-1U, which comes with that male-to-male -male charger. So pretty similar logic. It was simply that when we made these new Type-C docks, we had to start including the Type-C to Type-A cable. And this should hopefully be clarifying as far as when we do uh, intentionally include or not include a cable with a dock. Jumping into some brand specific solutions that have been launched and made available, starting with Apple, we have many solutions that became available for the iPad Mini 6, which has been very popular. We have both the Form Fit Easy Roller Holder that comes with the pencil holder on the side, and then you also have the IntelliSkin Next Gen, that's the AP36-NG, which also allows you to support the second gen pencil on the side as well. Now, when it comes to vehicle docks for the iPad Mini 6, we did launch three new docks that you can see here. We say that this fits the uh, iPad Mini 6, but technically these are universal docks. The only difference, uh, you'll see the top positioning marker here, looks very similar to the other universal vehicle docks that we've made for IntelliSkin Next Gen. 
but the only difference with this one is the top cup is slightly shorter to accommodate the more compact size of the iPad mini 6. But these are the part numbers you can see. OMT3 will indicate that smaller top cup at the top, which will accommodate the mini 6. These are available in a power only, power plus single peripheral, and power plus dual peripheral. And then there's the SKU for the top cup by itself. And then for the iPad Pro 11 first through third gen and the iPad 12.9 third through fifth gen, these are for the legacy IntelliSkins, but we simply made more efficient USB Type-C power docking stations for those two tablets. Getting into expansion of the MagSafe solutions that are out, this one is the RAM Quick Rip holder for iPhone 12 series with MagSafe. So this is the UN15 series that you can see here. So this has a similar quick grip design as the UN14 wireless chargers that have been marked available in the previous years. But instead of having a built-in wireless charger, this one contains a housing where you can connect and seat the Apple MagSafe into the holder with the proper backing plate. And so you essentially have a functional ruggedized version of a MagSafe holder for connecting to your iPhone. Unfortunately, to date, this holder will only support the iPhone 12 series. There have been cases where the bevel of the iPhone 13 and 14 series does protrude a little bit, so it does create somewhat of a gap when connecting to the MagSafe system. It does work for some, but officially we are recommending this currently only for the iPhone 12 series. So when the iPad Mini 6 was launched, this created a lot of hype around the aviation industry. And so when this was launched, we created these new kits that were designed for various iPad sizes to connect to cockpits in aircraft. And so we have the common yoke mount, that's the Ram B121U that will fit essentially any Cessna or yoke system in an aircraft. And then you have suction cup mounting for the windshields. And then you also have new body mount solutions or knee board mounts that will connect to the leg using a strap system. These are various holders that will support the iPads with or without a case, or you have the form factor holders. So a lot of options to choose from and a lot of different ways to put your iPad exactly where you want in your aircraft. Looking at Garmin solutions, there were two new systems that were launched and released. One is for the Garmin Diesel OTR 700 series. This is a locking RAM Easy Roller system. That's the GA77LU. So this is a form fit holder that allows full functionality of the device while it's in the holder with the locking option. And this has been made available with both a double ball mount and a double ball mount with a locking knob built into it. The other solution that was created and launched was for the Garmin Drive series. This is a universal RAM snap link ball system with a twist lock suction cup. This is essentially a way of adapting our ruggedized RAM twist lock suction cup with a snap link ball that will connect to any Garmin device that integrates the 17 millimeter Garmin ball adapter. So this is very common with consumer Garmin Drive and Drive Smart series. Essentially any device that will have that 17 millimeter inch socket on the back of the device or on the dock will connect perfectly with this suction cup mount. For Honeywell, we have solutions for two different devices. There is the Honeywell RT10 tablet, and that is the HON9 system here. So similar to other ruggedized docks that we've made for devices like these, we have various combinations of powered and non-powered with a combo lock, with a key lock, and with a single peripheral or dual peripheral or power only. So a whole range of different types of options and features depending on what a user may be looking for in their dock all completely ruggedized, suited for virtually any environment, whether it's material handling, transportation, or anywhere else. And so we've had holders out for a while for the Honeywell CT50, CT60, and CT60XP. We essentially made a non-powered version of this holder as well, and that is the HON7NPU. The NP is for non-powered. For Panasonic, we've launched a line of power docking solutions for the FZ-S1 and FZ-L1 that became available in the last year. This is what we call the PAN15 series. You can see these partners containing PAN15. We offer these in a passive holder as well as powered, non-locking, powered key locking, and also single peripheral options. So different options, just like all of our other power docking systems. For Samsung, we've launched a line of solutions for the X-Cover 6 Pro. We have the IntelliSkin, and this is a new type of IntelliSkin that integrates a belt clip that's built directly into the IntelliSkin. So this is a new design that we will most likely be integrating into future phone models that come out. And this is the SAM 84 series that you can see here. So this will work with the various GDS docks that will support IntelliSkin, but there is also a six port charging dock that is specifically for the X-Cover 6 Pro. 
This is with or without the Samsung smart case. And then we have a form fit holder that will support the Xcover 6 Pro with the smart case. We've also launched a new Intelskin Next Gen with and without LED light for the Samsung Tab A8 10.5 inch tablet. So we have two different versions of the Intelskin, one with and one without the LED flashlight that's built into it. And then we have a line of GDS Tough Docks that will support either Intelliskin, and these are available in a powered non-locking, key locking, or single peripheral options, and also the body only. So it's modular and interchangeable with all other GDS tech solutions. With the launch of the Samsung Tab Active 4 Pro, the Tab Active 4 Pro works with all of the current docking solutions and mounts that RAM has offered for the Samsung Tab Active Pro, the original device model. Uh, however, for operating no battery mode, we also made a couple new SKUs, especially with the RAM Tough Case, that will accommodate the power delivery. So in order to utilize the no battery mode feature in the newer Tab Active 4 Pro, you would need to use a power delivery charging source. And so this version of the RAM Tough Case, the SAM 54 CU, comes with a USB Type-C for going to a power delivery charger and enabling the no battery mode feature. And then with the GDS Tech Docs, because it works with all of the other original Intelskin Next Gen and GDS Docs, we simply launched one more in addition to that line of GDS Tech products that simply has the dual peripheral support that you can see here. Just a couple more miscellaneous Samsung solutions that were launched. We have a kit that consists of a dual suction cup base with an 18 inch rigid aluminum rod that you can bend to the desired position that has a form fit dock that will support the Samsung Tab Active 2 and Tab Active 3. You can see the part number down here. Essentially, this is great for trucks that have a very large dashboard surface or when the windshield is far away from the rider and they want to be able to easily reach the touchscreen. This is a great way to create an extended mount for that device. And on the right here, you can see there was one more version of the Intelliskin next gen for the Samsung Tab A7 Lite 8.7 that has the built-in LED flashlight option. For Zebra, in the past year, there was the launching of the TC53, TC58, and the TC73, TC78 options. And with these, we have a range of new form fit holders to support all of these devices. You can see we call this the ZE17 series. These are offered in non-powered and powered and key locking and non-locking. The only real difference between these two styles to support the different device models is the ZE17-2 series for the TC53 and TC58 comes with proper inserts that will support the smaller TC53 and TC58 with or without the rugged boot option that comes with that device. And then the version for the TC73, TC78 simply comes without those inserts to accommodate the larger device size. In the last year, we also launched a full line of power docking stations for the Zebra X Slate L10 series. This is the ZE15. You can see the list of part numbers here. Just like all the other power docking solutions, we have the full range of different options and features, whether it's the non-locking or key locking, combo locking, or with powered and non-powered dual peripheral or single peripheral options to choose from. And likewise, we offer docking solutions for the Zebra ET4X series. So for the ET4X, there's an 8-inch and 10-inch version. One distinction with this docking solution that makes it somewhat unique is that we came out with two different versions of these docks. The first set that we're looking at here is the RAM Tough Dock. So essentially, this is using the RAM technology that integrates and connects to the device directly, just like any other power docking solution. And it has the same features, dual or single peripheral support and the locking, non-locking, all those other features. But then we also have a GDS Tech version of that, which you can see right here. So the GDS Tech version integrates an Intelliskin Next Gen that has been designed for the ET4X. So two different Intelliskins, one for the eight inch, one for the 10 inch. And then this is a modified version of the docking solutions that will support the device while in the Intelliskin Next Gen. So essentially, if I go back to the previous slide, you can see the RAM Tough Dock part numbers, RAM-HOL, just like all the other docks that we've made. But then with the GDS Tech ones, we have RAM GDS Dock ZE20, denoting the 8-inch, and then ZE21 for the 10-inch tablet. You'll notice that the Intelliskin Next Gen is not on this list at the moment, and that's only because those Intelliskins are not yet available, but they will be coming available in 2023. We've also launched and made available a range of ergonomic accessories for the Zebra ET4X. Specifically, the 10-inch version has the accessories that are available now. 
This is essentially the GDS handstand and hand strap accessory options, just like everything that is compatible with IntelliSkin Next Gen, and also the new GDS Rotomag that was mentioned in the previous slide. These are all the same ergonomic accessories, but they simply come with the proper backing plate that will adapt and connect directly to the Zebra ET4X device. So these are device specific ergonomic accessories, but using the same modular universal accessories that GDS Tech offers. You can see here there's the GDS handstand by itself. That's the GDS HS1 ZE21U. There is the hand strap only. So everything just without that kickstand option, that's the HS2. And then you have the HS1M, that's the magnetic strap version of the handstand. And then the Rotomeg is ROTO2. This last slide here are universal mounts, but they've been designed and created specifically for a new line of Zebra Docs that are not yet available. So this is a quick little teaser of what is gonna be coming out for the Zebra ET8, the two-in-one tablet and laptop solution. So we have a range of docs that will be coming out in 2023, but because of the robust size of this device, we came out with a new line of telepole and D-size two and a quarter inch ball mounting systems to support the size and weight of this device. So you can see here, there is the eight inch flange pole. So this is a flange that is welded and connected to the upper pole. And then when you have the tablet connected, it gives room for the keyboard option to flip down and essentially use as a laptop in the vehicle. This achieves a very similar solution to what we've always been offering for laptop mounting in general. But because of this unique design, we're supporting the top of the device rather than a tray that supports the bottom of the keyboard. And so that requires a more robust mounting solution and does not need any swing arm components. So it is instead a direct pull to D size mount system with the 75 millimeter Visa plate. And of these four options that we see here, these are all simply various height ranges to accommodate different types of vehicles with different height range requirements. And that's gonna cover it for today's session. This has been all products that have been launched and made available in 2022. We have a lot of new products that are gonna be coming out in 2023 that are in the works that we're very excited about. This presentation did have a lot of information on it and was really just a top overview of everything. So there's a lot more details that can be covered for any product launch that was in this list. So if you do have any questions, please reach out to your account manager and they can get you more information. Thank you for being with us today and we'll see you next time.